Hi, welcome to Nina in the Kitchen, where today I'm going to make a potato crusted salmon. I have made this recipe for years. It's something that I made up. It's so delicious that if the royal family drops by unexpectedly, you could serve this to them, they'd be happy. I'm using russet potatoes. You can use Yukon Gold for this too. I've done that and it's been successful. What you wanna do is use one medium potato for each portion of salmon that you're making. I'm using a grating disc. If you have a choice, you wanna go with a larger grate over the smaller one for this particular recipe. You can also grate this on a box grater or whatever you want. So I'm just going to plop these in. Any old way, doesn't matter. And now these potatoes are going into a bowl of water because you do want to rinse some of the superficial starches off of the potato. Now up to this point with the potatoes in the water, you can let this sit for hours. So just put it in the fridge if you're going to wait a while. We're just going to continue with the recipe. Okay, well, what I've done with the potatoes is I put them through a strainer. You put them in a dry tea towel, then just a little salt. Put some pepper over this and you squeeze out any excess water that you can get out of here. And then next up is the salmon. I have two salmon fillets. I just wanted to show you how to remove the skin. This is a longer fillet. And what you do is you, you find a corner where you can comfortably get a little start. And then you flip it and you hold this, you hold the skin side down with your fingertips. Keep your knife at about a 45 degree angle and you just move it back and forth. And eventually, now at this point, I can grab this with my fingers. So now you wiggle the skin and also your knife back and forth. Then you have a skinless filet right there. And the first thing I do is I hit both sides with a little lemon. And then the rest of this is really simple. I'm going to put some butter on these fillets. This is just about a tablespoon of butter. You just want enough so that other ingredients can stick to it. I have a Dijon mustard, and you just paint both sides with that. And then finally, I have some horseradish. This is just a prepared horseradish. Horseradish and salmon go so well together. If you've never tried it, I urge you to try it. It's really delicious. I'm going to put just a little oil in the bottom of this skillet. You just take your very dry potatoes and put them down at about the same size that your fish fillets are. And then the rest of this potato goes on top. This is cooking over medium heat and you, you just want to get this so that it creates a shell around your, your salmon. As soon as the potatoes are ready on one side and they're brown and crispy and delicious, you flip these and we'll get to that in just a few minutes. This has been probably about six minutes. What I'm doing is pushing the potato up against the salmon and then pressing it a little. And that's why you want a high starch potato because you do want this to kind of stick to each other. This is my emergency backup bench scraper. And I use, I use this for when something sideways doesn't work for me. You see why two of these per pan is really all that you can handle. I'm gonna take one of these out and we'll see how we did. Oh, that's nice. So you get a little potato bite from the bottom of the piece and also from the top. It's a nice crust and let me just taste this. I just love this recipe. I hope you try it. It's easy, it's so delicious. You get like a french fry thing going on with your fish. It's excellent. I'm just going to put a little spritz of lemon on it and I'm a happy camper. I hope you tried this recipe. Thank you so much for watching Nina in the Kitchen and come back for more stuff. Bye guys.